Let's give it up for your host of Ground Zero, Time Bomb Tom. We're kicking it off with Ground Zero here on UPS 32, Saturday Night Action. It's ACW, Matt Byron, and Doug Kaufman. Very special guest tonight, a man we've been seeing a lot of on UPN as of late. Not where you'd expect it either. It's the ACW TV champion grace gift tonight, Kamikaze Ken Anderson. Kenny, thanks for joining us here at the table. Thanks for having me. We're glad to have you. It's Time Bomb Tom, the man who lays down the truth, the man who demands honesty. The man lays down out. a razor. He's a good man. He's a good man. He's it got some kick and burns, too. It wouldn't be ACW unless we had the, the sideburns show up. That's right. right. Ken, how would you look in those? Uh, to him Daddy, Rob Norris, mystery partner is tonight. And I think we should just go straight to the main source. I'd like Kim Daddy Rob Norris to come out here right now and tell us who his mystery partner is. Because I know fans of the ACW want to know, right? Ken, do you know who it is? I Guys, know who. I gotta get to you on a little backstory on this one. As we know, we have new tag team champions. Who is that? Well, there's Kendra. That ain't his mystery partner, is it? Could be. She could, she's done some jobs at Stefano before, but I don't know if that's in the Pimp Daddy's best interest. It was supposed to be Eric Freedom, but Eric Freedom has gone AWOL from ATW. It's supposed to be Norwood and Freedom getting the first shot at the tag team titles here on All-Star Championship Wrestling. But Eric Freedom has disappeared from the radar, and Eric is on thin ice, to say the least, of All-Star Championship Wrestling. Eric, if you're listening, we need you to contact us, brother. We miss you, Daddy. We Come miss you, back. Big man. We're wondering where you are, but the Pimp Daddy and the lovely Kendra holding a little court here inside the ring with Time Bomb Tom. We're taking it to ground zero all the way live here at All-Star Championship Wrestling. Come on, let's find out. I'm anxious. I've been waiting for weeks. We've heard rumors about this one, guys. What's the story? What's going down? Come on, tell us. Spill the beans. Let it out. Come on, Pimp Daddy. First off, after how long, it's about time Pimp Daddy has a chance at more ACW gold. There you go. We know how right. it is. But, but, I do need help, Kendra. <laughs> and of course, Eric Freedom ain't here again. All right? Can't do that. This whole tag team friend. thing was your idea from the start. Come on now. Settle down. Now, I kind of figured Eric Freedom wouldn't show up. He's been kind of a hothead lately. And I know everybody's seen on the website the little blacked out figurine. Everybody's curious who I found to be Rob's partner. Well, I'm just, just as curious as everybody else. That's right. I heard doing some dealing here. Oh, so, Matt, what about me? Would you fall over? Not Lenny Lane. If I were the mystery partner? Scrap by your Adam Pierce, maybe? I'd have a Fred Not Stanford heart attack, Adam my Pierce. man. Is it you, Ken? You've all seen it's it on Ken. MTV's oh, True Life. I'm a pro wrestler. You look hungry for some action, Now Ken. you're going to see him in ACW's ring. I'd like to introduce to you Rapid Delivery, Rory Fox. Rapid Fox. Delivery, Rory Remember the MTV special? I do. Oh, this kid's There's a good kid. There he is. There's the man. We've seen him all across the country. We sit on MTV's True Life special. I want to be a pro wrestler. Where's the newspaper bag? I don't think he does that gimmick anymore, Doug. I think he dropped that one. Yeah, I think. Uh, I thought he had a bicycle with a bell and a newspaper. I think someone's oh, yeah. smarting him up. Come on now. But I'll tell you what. You know Bill Hills has a cow or a sheep or something. We were privileged to see this kid's first match in professional wrestling all across the country on MTV. He's a good, upstanding kid. A lot of potential, a lot of desire to be part of this business. I think he'll be a great partner. Welcome to the ACW. Do you have anything to say? Thanks. It's great to be here in the ACW tonight, baby! Hello. And with that, now comes the entrance of the two biggest ball sheds in the base. We have been graced by plan. Paul Shettery. The hair club for men makes it into the ring. Your ACW Tag Team Champions, Rock and Randy. Your pal superstar, Mike Mercury. Oh, no man, doubt. No doubt they've got something to say on this one, Kenny. They always have something to say. 
Superstar and Rock and Randy. You know something? If there were, if there were such a word as Balsh as in the English dictionary, you'd see their two little nice little faces right next to the word. Everybody came to the watering hole tonight to see two athletes, Rock and Randy and superstar Mike Mercury. Not bloody likely, gentlemen. I will give it to them, they're good athletes. They certainly are, both seasoned veterans in this sport. And they are the champs, they got the gold. But quite frankly, they need to get a haircut and shut up. On MTV, it's the superstar, Mike Mercury! That was true at one point, it's not anymore. And the watering hole's making sure he knows that. That's right. You'll see who sucks when we leave still the ACW Tag Team Champions. That they are. And this time they actually earned them in the ring. Wow. Unlike the other time they just stole them. Hey, hey, Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with Sergeant Medallion and his manager extraordinaire, Tommy Rocks. Now, Medallion, I gotta ask you, Mitch Paradise is none too pleased with what you've been doing with that stick as of late, or so he tells me. What do you have to say to him about that? Well, for, oh, my, Mikey, let me get this in. No one really cares about Mitch Paradise. We have bigger and better things to do tonight. There, a man, a far better man, a better built man, a better wrestler, a better all-around man is challenging you tonight, and that's Red Lightning. Now. Everyone may think that Red Lightning is just a little man and doesn't mean anything, but we know he's a lot bigger and a lot tougher than that Mitch Paradise. As far as Mitch Paradise goes, all I could say is, brother, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Red Lightning, you're going to get what you deserve. As far as Mitch Paradise, all I can say is, for my stick, next time try ducking. Well, do you hear that, Mitch? According to them, Red Lightning's bigger than you are. Skateboarding is not a crime, but buying your gear at a place called March should be. Surf and Burn on Main is now a hardcore sponsor of ACW Wrestling, specializing in some of the most hardcore pastimes out there. With snowboards, skateboards, streetboards, music, video games, and DVDs, Surf and Burn has been corrupting young minds since 1988. Surf and Burn is the supermarket to the youth at 1277 Main Street, Green Bay. You're watching it on TV. Now go check it out on the web at acwprowrestling.com. Get everything you need to satisfy your daily craving for ACW. Get the latest news on upcoming events. Learn all about the stars of ACW with profiles, pictures, and columns. And interact with actual wrestlers and other fans on the message board and in the chat room. That's acwprowrestling.com. Log on today and take cover. First, accompanied by his manager, Tommy Rocks, at 233 pounds, from the Bronx, New York, Sergeant Medallion. Oh. We're back with the All-Star Championship Wrestling. Byron and Kaufman joined by the TV champion, Kamikaze Ken, as the Dickie Clan, Lee Club Sting, and Tommy Rocks brings out the Sergeant. Two weeks in a row, this guy's made Mitch Paradise's life hell. And when Mitch Paradise wants a piece of him, what does he do? He wrestles Red Lightning. What a show of sack. Medallion with that stupid nightstick. Although he's put it upside Mitch Paradise's skull the last two weeks. I bet he doesn't think it's too stupid. Weighing in at 202 pounds, Red Lightning. Here we go. He's making it stupid. Yep. Here comes Red he Lightning. He said the magic word, and he came a running like Pavlov's dog. The doofus factor in the watering hole is about to go sky high. You know, these fans love Red Lightning. Here he though. comes. Don't laugh at me if you look in the mirror. Then you'll have a good laugh. <laughs> He's got a slightly different look from last time we saw him. He's yeah. taking the brains out. He's debraided himself, detangled himself. I never thought I'd be happy to see Cujo show up at the announcer's table, <laughs> except when uh, Red Lightning was with us two weeks ago. Oh. God help us, my ears are still ringing. Still getting night sweats on that one. But Red Lightning, give him credit for getting in the ring. Always overmatched, but always fighting it out. 
And this time, he's got the sergeant one-on-one. -on -one. Jamie Kennedy graduating from the ring announcer ranks into the ring. I'll tell you what, we can't keep those Kennedys out of that referee shirt, Doug. Well, you say give the guy credit. Uh, how about if I just give him five across the eyes? You can do that, too. Ken, tell us a little bit about uh, Red Lightning in the locker room. You guys even allow him downstairs with you fellas? Annoying. One word, annoying. I get the feeling that's a shoot. They're tying up. Red Lightning go behind. Medallion tosses them up, takes them up into that uh, kneeling arm bar. He's got Red Lightning on the canvas there, getting leverage. He's got that lap that just grates on you, you know? Oh, God. It's like mental sandpaper. Wow! Red Lightning reverses that. Ah! The leg. Ah! There's an elbow smash. Red throwing those uh, appropriately red boots into the left arm of Medallion there. Jamie Kennedy calling the action in this one, as we pointed out, and now the hammerlock. Is Red Lightning trying chain wrestling? Well, he was. Right hand, another one by Medallion. I'll tell you what, Kenny, MPW caused you all sorts of problems. Big vertical suplex there in the pa past few weeks here on All-Star Championship Wrestling. And I hear they're still not done with you yet. We saw what they did to Dino Bambino. You gotta be watching your back, my friend. Well, we'll see what happens tonight. We'll just see what happens. Big elbow smash. One, two. Medallion and uh, Red Lightning out here. Quick pull, both you guys. Tommy Rocks, Red Lightning. Best of five, would anybody ever win? Would anybody show up to see it? Count to one, count it two. I think Red hey. Lightning would just sit there and laugh. So, oh! Ah. Nice snapping DDT there. Medallion methodically destroying the doofus Red Lightning, guys. I'd have to say Tommy Rocks. Would you really? I would, because Red Lightning would be too busy laughing. And Tommy Rocks would just roll him up. Roll him up, give him a Grundy. Medallion going up top. Look out for Medallion. Oh! Oh! He, oh! he missed it. No! Oh! Oh! That's got to hurt. Look at that. Drop toehold. Come on now. Oh, no. Oh, now we're going to school. Oh. Now we're going to school. Could this be It's real? a figure four leg lock. Oh, oh, oh. Medallion reverses it. Medallion reverses it. Red Lightning's a hurting unit right now. He, get, he struggles over to the rope, so. If Medallion's struggling like this with Red Lightning, what's going to happen when he hooks up with Paradise one-on-one? -on -one? Oh. Oh. Look at him. Look at him. Who's here? Come on, Daddy. Oh, is that man huge? Not anymore, it's not. Look out. That man is huge. Welcome to oh. Paradise. And Red Lightning is just laughing. Red Lightning thinks he's got a new friend. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't count your chickens before they have. Red Lightning has made bitch beat out of the competitor. Man. No way. Could this be Did he just do what? No way. Jamie, you can't see. You can't tell me that just happened. <laughs> we don't know if Red Lightning can beat Tommy Rocks. We do know he can beat Medallion. That's my boy Mitch. That man bench presses like what, 6,000 pounds? To say the least. And he just pressed 200, two pounds of two. Guys, it's going to get cold beneath our feet wheels, dude. Hell just throws over. And with the assistance of Mitch Paradise, Red Lightning's won a match in ACW. Attention wrestling fans, as you know, pro wrestling has never been hotter, and the opportunity to become part of this exciting industry has never been greater. If you have a dream and a desire, the ACW Dojo of Pain can help you become one of us. ACW's experienced instructors offer you the training and the knowledge to help you begin an exciting career in professional wrestling. The ACW Dojo of Pain is Wisconsin's number one wrestling training facility, and it shows. If you are 18 or older and want to live your dream, call us today at 737-2610. That's 737-2610. This is an ACW breaking news update. WWF superstar The Road Dog Jesse James has signed a one-night ACW contract and will fight Cujo on May 18th at the Gravel Pit in Kiel. In addition, you will also see the ACW TV title and the ACW heavyweight title on the line in this just-signed ACW TV taping. Clear your calendars and head to the corner of 57 and 67, the Gravel Pit in Kiel, on Friday, May 18th, and log on to ACWProWrestling.com for the latest.
foot up there because he's about to get his ass kicked by Paradise. And he's not holding the stick. I don't think that's such a smart idea on the part of Sergeant Medallion right at this point. I wouldn't say so either. Like, Paradise is fresh, and he's about twice uh I would absolutely love to whip up on your ass, mate, the... Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. How about it, people? The watering hole wants to see it, guys. The half-picking machine, ACW, rolls on May 5th. You are my next prey. Get Paradise made it clear he made the statement. And there you have it. And now Medallion's got to sweat it out, guys. Hey, Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with... Believe it or not, recent victor, Red Lightning. Red Lightning, you finally won a match in ACW. What's on your mind? <laughs> I won! I won! I beat him! I beat him! <laughs> Get left, me the stuck! Feeling better there, Cujo? Much better. I'm glad I could help, and thank you for getting rid of that laugh. It's pissing me off, too. Oh, and I apologize for that st substandard C up there. We'll work on it for next time. And 280 pounds, hailing from the evil lair of nice heads everywhere, Cujo! Stefano, and it's the Mad Dog of War, Cujo. I don't think Cujo knows any love, guys. I think Cujo. Cujo can't, Cujo's one guy that scares me. I, this guy's off balance. This guy just isn't right in the head. Guys, His I, name sums it up. Cujo. He's a wild animal. I've seen him in action in the ring and out of the ring. He is someone you should be very wary of. You see him coming down the street, cross the street. At 222 pounds from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Mason Diggs. But I'll tell you what, the Mad Dog's going to be tested tonight by a rapidly rising superstar in All-Star Championship Wrestling. Every week we see him out here, he improves a little bit more. And he's with a very lovely lady, a very buff lady. Here comes Shauna, and here comes Mason ah. Diggs, guys. It is power and violence of Cujo, the agility and speed of Mason Diggs. It's a classic matchup here on ACW on 32. Not to mention the uh, dichotomy of South on the outside. The very fit, very in shape, very lovely Shauna against the absolute opposite of everything I just said, Angelo Stefano. The hey. bulbous Angelo Stefano, get it right. You like this on TV, guys? We got some shows coming up. Next TV taping, May 5th. Here at the watering hole, highlighted by Medallion in Paradise. And then on May 11th, it'll be on Friday night down in Kamikaze Kim's neck of the woods. Two rivers. That's right. Come the Trivers. My hometown. Don't ever call the Trivers again. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. See, I, I got your back, Ken. All-Star Championship Wrestling. We're doing it up all over Wisconsin area. Thank you for joining us on UPN 32 as Mason Diggs gets into the face of Cujo, who returns the favor. He's got a shoving match to go out and start this one. Nice drop toe hold. Mason reacted to the charge of the big man. Jimmy Kennedy, the elder of the Kennedy brothers, call the action in this one. Looks like Jimmy kind of hit the Shoney circuit when he was down oh. south working, doesn't it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> You don't know how right you are on that one. Big right hand from the Mad Dog. Reversal, Mason Diggs takes him in. Rebound, Whoa, the dog. Bulldog, nicely done. Count of one, count of... <laughs> Stefano standing in the pool of his own sweat and juices on the outside, watching his pride and joy. Have it taken to him here. Get out of that back suplex attempt. Up and over, takes him. Two. Mason Diggs had him roll up, couldn't quite get him though. Oh. Ducked it. Oh. 
Hangman's neck breaker. Man. And the Mad Dog of War, just like that, is taking charge of this one. Cujo takes over. Do you know that uh, Cujo is actually a Japanese word for disobedience? That sums it up to a T, sir. Yes, it does. We should ask TJ about that one. TJ is a resident expert on Japanese culture here at All-Star Championship Wrestling. Of course, the webmaster of ACWProWrestling.com. And the webmaster of www.geocities.com slash Kamikaze Ken Anderson. A beautiful looking sight for a hell of a wrestler. Look out for Kujo. Nice headbutt to the sternum. One more time. He got him. This is not where Mason Wait a Vince wants to what? what is Stefano doing? It's the only way you can never get a piece. What? Stefano from behind when they're you know, A few weeks ago it was Kendra. Now he's groping the lovely Shauna. Come on. Always got to be picking on the ladies. Always. Yeah. This guy can't get any of his own. So he's got to use a little force. That's uncalled for. As Mason almost rolls up Kucho for a three count there. Duck the clothesline. Big right hand. One more time. That's three. Main event action here oh, on All-Star Championship oh, Wrestling. Oh, oh, that is a great move by Cujo, and that hurts. Variation of a Samoan drop takes him down into a neck breaker. Got a two. Oh, I think he calls that one the Machumba Bomb. <laughs> is that what he calls it? It might be. Sean is getting what? this crowd fired up. The watering hole's getting behind Mason Diggs. Got to get Mason fired up because Cujo's dominating this match. Hard right hand. Right hands, couple of forearms into that corner. Cujo shoots him in. Oh, that's 270 pounds. Full force of that clothesline. That'll take a lot out of you very quickly, as I'm sure you can attest to, Kamikaze. You've been in the ring with a man. You can. Mason climbed. Oh! oh! Climbed up those ropes, came off a beautiful drop kick. Here we go. Now Mason. He's got Cujo on the ground. He's got to do like we've seen so many times. As a smaller guy, he's got to be all over the place and keep Cujo off balance. Now's the time to take advantage. Has to get back into his game right now. And the right white hole trying to help him out. Trying to motivate him. Oh. There you go. Big right hand in the midsection. Cujo going for that double axe handle. Gets nothing. One more time it happens. Smarter than Mad Dog. White, wild haymaker there. Nobody home on that one. Peppering with right hands. Mason Diggs shoots him in. Nice back elbow. Well placed. Kick to the midsection. Mason's trying to put it all together now. Big flying forearm. That's a flying burrito. Oh. I, I saw that too. I remember those tapes. Got it too. School, give us a little old school action. Thank you, Kenny. That's old school. An old school rake to the face. Old school good down home cheating. Jesse Ventura used to call it that if we're going old school. Cujo takes him in, but gets reversed in the corner. Oh. Nice close line. Mason trying to take down deep. He's trying to get that second win, that third win. Look out. He's setting it up. Ah! Great digger axe kick. Does he got him in white? It's the bottom. The bottom of Crusty, Jimmy Kennedy. The bottom of man Yeah, that fits into a T. The king of horticulture just saved the Mad Talk of War on that one. Mason's not flustered by that one. He knows he's got to set up Cujo one more time. Well, maybe he is. Oh. He's getting a glance over towards Stefano. Reversal. Is What's Stefano doing right up. there? No! Stefano pulls his feet out. He just greased out the rope. Uh, oh, Here like it comes. Cutter. Here it comes. Mullet cutter! This one, I'm afraid, is over. Once again, can't do it on his own. He's got to do it with that man boob. Stefano. Heads of a feather cheat together. And now the Cujo picks it up cheap. What is this? They've got the belt out. Joe. Oh, wait a minute. It's all over, Cujo. Get out. Look, get out of the ring. Jimmy Kennedy's got to get in there. Cujo is setting up for something. Oh, come on. What's he doing here? Stefano oozing all over. Mason Diggs, he's got him by the legs. Come on, Jimmy. Step in there. Ring the bell. Step in there, Jimmy. He's up top. He's got the nice headbutt. This should be over. Oh, come on. And dancing on top of everything. Now the bell oh. comes out. Got the strap. Oh. Got the strap. Ow. Big left. Oh. Gets the back. Amazing. This is a call 
four. And look at him just push Jimmy Kennedy around. We can't Stop push him around like that. Control this man. Jimmy Kennedy's rock. Three whips to the back. Oh, here comes Shauna. Shauna. I don't know Shana. why he's so smart. Yeah, Shauna, this isn't your best move. And now it's Cujo. Kennedy oh, has reversed this oh, decision. And, and come on, get your hands off him. To face it. Hey! The decision's been reversed. Face it, takes you away, buddy. No. I don't think it matters whether they want Oh, to come on! Cujo lays one on her. Oh, she's got the pitch stuff out of her team for win. No! Stefano gets the sloppy second. That, that's what oh. I'm going Ah, oh. take that! Uh -oh. This show has been violent. Oh, no, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. Come on! He's got to be stopped. Mason. Mason's in there. He's got a hold of her. Thank God for Mason Dick. Drop it. And a drop it. Oh. Nice teamwork there. Nice teamwork. Well done by, by these two. Mason Dick, the daughter, and the daughter of Mickey Doyle, the lovely Shauna. I'll tell you what, they come out with victory over this one, but it's got to leave it a bad taste in their mouth, literally in the case of Shauna. I'll tell you what, these two have serious issues with women. These two have serious issues with women. What's wrong with Stefan? It's disgusting. What's wrong with Cujo? It is disgusting. Bad Kamikaze Ken, thank you for joining us, brother. Matt Byron, Doug Kaufman. We'll see you next week on ACW.